Good afternoon. Welcome to DE Outdoors. Whew, what a drive. We've been in the truck for like 10 hours, 10 and a half hours. Um, we came from Laramie, from Wyoming, all the way to Wabe, which is on the eastern side of South Dakota. We're super pumped. We're going to be fishing. We're stopping now to get some minnows at the one stop here. Um, it's going to be a special trip. I'm excited to bring you guys along. We're fishing um, out of an ice castle. Basically a sweet rigged trailer, whatever, sleeper house on the ice. It'll be awesome. It's something we've never done before, but I've always wanted to. Um, it's going to be amazing. We're going to, I'll update you, I'll fill you in more later, but we're going to grab some minnows, maybe a few tackle pieces or something. And then, and then meet the guide and get out there and start fishing. We'll catch up here in a second. We got manners. Woo! I'm pumped. There's a, are we driving on the ice, bud? Yeah. 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 So we're driving on the lake. This is a, uh, it's pretty normal for probably a lot of you who do this all the time. But it's weird for me driving the truck out on the ice for the first time. We're used to some pretty fishing, pretty shallow ice compared to this stuff in Wyoming. So um, we're really excited though. Um, we gotta get, we gotta spend some time unloading everything from the truck, getting the castle set up and uh, doing all that stuff before we really get after fishing. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Woo! Dang, son. We're here. Check it out. This is our home for the next few days. Um, I'll give you the tour. Let's take a tour of the old, the old uh, sleeper shack here. We're wicked pumped because we never slept in something like this. So it's going to be amazing. Here we go. Alright guys, so this is kind of our, our setup here. We got the, uh, got a TV. There's an oven, microwave, a little kitchen area. There's a couch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in here. We can each have four lines. Uh, we haven't put everything away yet. Towards the back, there's a couple bunks. There's a bunk here. The couch is a pull-out bunk. Dang, son. This is going to be sweet. Um, we're super, super excited. We're kind of going to get organized, set up. I'll get back to you after that. Um, and of course, we want to get fishing, so here we go. Okay, I'm holding this fish. It's kind of like, it, they're small, and then it has a hook on it. Nice. Dang. Well, we're kind of set up and fishing. Um, just getting going here. I'm trying to organize some of the other camera what equipment, it, but we haven't water, marked or really seen anything yet, but we actually haven't really water. spent any time fishing yet. So, um, yeah, going to get the GoPro on so that I can start rolling, collecting footage. Josh, what do you think? I think I'm ready to catch some fish. Yeah, dude. You look comfy. I'm comfy. <laughs> yeah. Did you say you got hot dogs? Oh. We got 16 pack of hot dogs. Dang. Put down that down there. Big big bait, big fish, right? Big old 40 inch pike will eat a hot dog. That's, a lot of people fish for pike with hot dogs. No, they don't. I was making stuff up. No, that's Josh. Right. You know that's right. <laughs> They do. They, they said you know that's there's right. a pike rig that has like a hook or a swivel comes down to two wire leads and each one has a swivel hook on it and you hook one on each side of the hot dog. A hot dog? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a popular thing. Like a whole hot dog. Yeah. No. This, yeah, this is quite the... Fish on! Fish on! What do I do? What do I do? I got it. Yeah, here you move around. I'll catch. Not big. Oh! Oh! Doubled! You found something over there. Walleye. Watch out, Dirza. Stay back. Hey, uh, triple! Oh, Nancy, I'm coming! 
Watch the other coals. Dude, whatever, whatever, whatever on this is, whatever's on this is big. Or it's hooked with something. I think mine might be tangled in all of them. Cause I know I'm hooked up on this one. Okay, so you pull. Yeah, he's tangled on all of them. Okay, you pull yours. It's a pike. He's right here. Oh yeah, it's a pike. It's a pike. A pike. You're pulling me, so. Oh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he's on all. Pike. Yep. Yeah, he got all tangled okay, up. Okay, we caught one. We got one. We thought we had three going. Let me kill this boat. Okay, boat. We caught one. That that one's not on yet, buddy. Oh. Yeah, he's just tangled up. You my pliers, though? They're over here. Nice job, Josh. We got to get it down. Twenty. No wait. But I got twenty-one. Twenty-one. Nice. I got food. Why Woo. Woo. Dad, I'll first, hold the bottom. First fish for me, guys. Little tiny walleye. Do you want to try him? You got to pinch him real right, right up from the bottom there. Okay. Now put him back. What was that on? Nice. That, one that was right. on the tiny glow jig with you a smaller he minnow. Hey, guys. Quick evening update, it's about 6.30-ish, 6-ish, 6.30-ish. Um, Josh just caught that one pike. Uh, me and Durza stepped out to go potty, and then I had and then I had that one tiny wall I hit. And uh, that's been it so far, but uh, it's been nice staying comfy in here. We'll keep you updated as we go along tonight. Obviously, I'll wear the GoPro bunch and... and uh, Hopefully catch some more fish before the evening's over. Durs is having some chips. What do you think, Durs? All right, guys. Um, Josh and my dad just caught. He caught a big pike and he caught a like a little one. Quick update, folks. Still caught no more fish. Okay, Urza, folks. Are you, what are you doing? Are you watching a movie? Yeah. Watching a movie and fishing? Okay, folks. We caught some. We caught one, two, three. That's it. We got a pie, a pike, and my dad caught this one, and Josh caught this one. And then on, folks, and we, we're trying to catch another one. We're getting ready to cook dinner. In the hut, we're doing hot dogs and some chips. The next morning. We'll get him. Just reel up into him slow. There you go. Perch. Big perch. Nice perch. Perfect eater. Good eater size. And that was on the minnow, huh? Yeah. She's whipping. Oh, ripping. Go get her. Get away from me. Oh, lost it. Did you go too hard? I think so. Ripping. Dang, son. Just missed one. It's freezing cold out here, and I don't know what the sound is like, but I haven't had a whole lot of action today. It's like one in the afternoon, and uh, we've had a couple flags, and we've missed both of them. That one just broke the leader off, so probably just an old tie, I would think. No, not too old. I, tie, I put that leader on for sure. Oh, okay. Dang, this one. Oh, is that a fish? That's Look. a fish. That's a fish right there. Oh, dude, he's charging. Fish on. He got one. Oh, he scared me. Tiny little walleye. That's dude, he, 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 he came 
He came at what? it. Wow, that was insane. Dang. He came in hot. Okay, gotta pinch I him on the bottom, just okay? Just like that. Okay, now put him back. Good boy. Dude, yeah, he came at it fast. Hey guys, welcome back. Obviously, we are home. I know, you're thinking like, what's going on? They were just fishing in South Dakota and now they're home. Well, I wanted to get real with you guys about this fishing trip. I wanted to uh, talk through our experience and what kind of uh, we learned from this trip because I think that's the big thing that um, we took back from this trip is experience and uh, especially related to guided trips in this manner, I guess. Um, I really appreciate all you guys who watch and so I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of our experience and what what went down which I, it, nothing terrible um, but I think uh, we were just a little disappointed in in what happened and I mean that's part of fishing is you win some and you lose some I wanted to preface this by saying this is this was the second guided fishing trip I've ever been on I've always like I've always self-guided self like I learned how to fish from my dad and all that other stuff and we've always fished hard here in Wyoming to figure out fish patterns and like all that stuff um, so this was kind of a step out of our comfort zone anyway um, but I'll start at the beginning here I mean the big thing was I think the toughest thing about this trip for us was one the fishing was wicked slow we caught next to nothing and i think in relation to that was the guided service itself um so i don't mean this to be like a rant or anything um but i wanted to talk to you guys specifically about our experience with um at least this specific guide because the one other time i've been on a guided trip i had a really good experience um anyway starting from the beginning just the nature of a guided trip is that you're you're so excited to go on this big trip, right? Especially if it's something new that you've never experienced before, right? Because you've saved up money and kind of splurging and you book it like two months in advance. You're always looking forward to it and you're excited. And I mean, you're looking at all the pictures that, you know, the guided service is posting and you're getting information from them and they're saying, yo, dude, the bite's hot right now and like, you know you're you're a bit worked up as it is with a guided trip that your your expectations i think are really high and that's part of where we were at i mean we're you were like every fisherman that you want to catch a lot of fish um and that's not really what i think my main quarrel here is about but you you're excited to catch fish and you want to go and catch fish and have a good time um so we were excited the sleeper shack uh itself is a totally new experience for us and that was like a ton of fun it was very cool to be out there on the ice and be comfortable and watch tv or do whatever we want or hang out with my kiddo which was really nice um and that's part of why i i didn't film that much is because i was just trying to enjoy myself um and hang out and spend time with my buddies you know but um we got there they set us down, told us about the sleeper shack and all that stuff. And then, I mean, basically that was it. We thought there would be a lot more service and help and that kind of stuff. Um, the first night, I think we caught, we got two fish um, that first night, both very small. And in the morning we texted the guide because he asked us to do so. He said, hey, if it's lower than anything, let us know. And so we texted him in the morning, we're like, hey, you know, is there like a secret? Is there like stuff we should be using bait? You know, all the stuff that a beginner fisherman wants to know, especially if it's like you're targeting a new set of species, um, which was very relevant for us. Like I've like caught two pike ever and walleye and perch are fairly new to me. And so, especially through the ice. And so we texted him and he was like, yo, um, we'll have a guy come out and move you. And that's all, like we didn't get any information on what we should be using or tactics or like, you know, any of that stuff. And so he came out and moved us maybe 
200 yards in one direction it was I thought we were expecting maybe something a little more drastic also they set us on a lake we weren't expecting to be on in the like in the first place um anyway it was even slower the second night um we caught one fish it was like a weird little white bass thing I didn't even get it on camera or anything we were like hey you know like this is a guided trip aren't we supposed to be like put on a hot spot or like and again this is part of that high expectations um but it was about this point where I really stopped filming and I was like it's gonna be slow maybe it's a struggle for everyone and you know I want to I want to enjoy my time here because I'm not at work and I want to be, you know, hang out with the kid and whatever. And that's basically what the rest of the trip was, was just snacking and watching TV and being comfortable um, while we fished, which was awesome. But we caught next to nothing. I don't think we caught anything the last night um, and morning. And it was just it was just a glorified hotel on the ice, you know, um, which again is fine but that's our expert expectations were different we texted the other thing was our guide i think the biggest complaint for us was the guide the service itself the we texted him again the second day we're like hey again any info like on what we should be doing like using tactics um and they said hey we'll come out and we'll move you again maybe back to the first spot and we're like okay whatever and then they never showed up. We never heard from them that night, that day, or the next day. And when we left in the morning, we basically, we texted them, said, hey, we're getting ready to leave. And then we called them when we were ready to leave. And basically it was like, yep, just go ahead and take off. And that was kind of it. So we were pretty disappointed in the service. They weren't very helpful. We actually talked to another guy while we were there just out on the ice on the same lake and he just happened to be a guide for a competing company uh he had he was his he owned his own guide service and we talked to him and we got more information from him in like five minutes about like what to use and how to do it and all that stuff and uh in about five minutes than we did you know the whole time with our guide so part of it is i think the big complaint was that we were a little disappointed in the service we got for how much we paid. And, you know, again, that's part of it. You win some, you lose some in fishing. You don't always catch fish. Um, but I thought I'd take a minute to kind of go through my experience with you guys so that you don't necessarily make, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a mistake, but I guess you guys can be aware of what to expect when you're like, renting a sleeper shack from a guide um, they may not necessarily be interested in putting you on the fish they may just be interested in getting you a place to sleep on the ice that being said the sleeper shack itself was amazing it was very cool cooked all our meals in there hung out tv all that stuff it was great um anyway if you got it this far in the video thanks didn't mean to rant but i did want to go through kind of how I felt in our experience um, so that you guys could learn through me. Um, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, ask a question. If you have a question about kind of our experience there, feel free to do so. I will leave, I, I, I kind of hate leaving bad reviews about people, but this is, this is America, right? And if you don't do a good job for your clients or however that your product or service, you know, people are going to leave you a bad review and you're going to lose business. That's how it works, right? So anyway, I'm going to leave the link to the, uh, the guide or the service we used in the description in case you want to look at them and kind of avoid them or do whatever. Um, I'm also going to leave the link to the guide we talked to who seemed very much more friendly and more helpful. Um, so if you guys are in the Wabe area in South Dakota and you're looking for a guided trip, I'd suggest him. <laughs> um, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you being there um, to listen to my rant and 
I hope you guys can take something away from this. And because uh, I know we did, we didn't take home fish, but we got a lot of experience. We learned a little bit about winter fishing and a little bit different of a lifestyle up there. So still in good spirits. We're going to fish hard the rest of the year and um, we'll see you next.